In this video, I'm going to test the cutting ability of the 80 watt laser and half inch plexiglass. The orange zip tie here represents where the lens is located within this nozzle. And it's a two inch focal length. So in this test, I'd like to put the nozzle right at the surface of the, of the workpiece. A couple of considerations with this is that the air will, be, will not be able to flow out of the tip as easily. The two inch focal length really isn't the best lens to cut this material, but I want to do a thorough number of tests to see what the two inch focal length lens can do. So if I was to put the nozzle right at the surface of the plexiglass, I can expect the, the laser, focused laser energy would be this deep into the material, a little bit more than halfway in. Actually, it's more like 75% of the depth. So this is my, this will be my first test. I'm going to do another test in another video that will bring it to about halfway into the material. Let's go ahead and set up the cut paths. I'm going to open up LaserCAD and draw a few lines. I'm just using the copy and paste here to duplicate the lines. And I want to evenly distribute it so I'll be able to run the machine in a way that I can run them all past the edge so I can see the depth from a cross-section of the material. Each of these lines will represent a cut speed. That really is the only variable that we're changing here. So we can determine how deep the cuts are on each speed. Because the, the slower you go on the speed, the deeper the cut will be because there's more lasing at a particular spot or it's able to laze for a longer time in the same location. So I'm gonna change these layers, put them on a separate layer. I'll make the top line the slowest, so I'm gonna what is that one? That's the last one here. So then I'll start with two millimeters per second. Then I'll go, so the top line is gonna be two millimeters per second. The next one will be three. Next one will be four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's check all of them to make sure they're correct. Okay, so we have two at the top. Three millimeters per, let me see here. These are not in order. Black, blue, red, green. Oh, let's go up on this one. Okay, so now they're in order. Let's do this again. So the top one, which is the green one, is two. And the brown one is three. Cyan is four. Green light green it's five red six blue is seven and black is eight okay okay let's download this to the machine and see how well it cuts this is what happens when your nozzle is too close to the workpiece okay let's start again i position the cut so it will go over the edge this way i'll be able to actually measure with the caliper the depth of each cut I'm going to keep the video at the regular speed. I'm not going to speed it up. So you can see the speed at which it travels along the surface of the material. It's interesting how the light shines through the edge of the cut when the nozzle gets at the outer edge of it. So notice here how the light gets thinner and thinner as the nozzle goes farther into the material on these faster runs. It's on the four millimeter per second line right now. Now you can see that the light shines a little bit longer. So I think the light gives us a good indication of how deep
The laser is cutting at that speed. Hello? Now it's pretty evident that there's a lot of uh, smoke in the back of the material. So the air assist seems to be strong enough, the 20 uh, PSI seems to be strong enough to to get quite a bit of air in the back of the material. We can see it's pretty evident that the first few did not go all the way through, but the this is two, three, and then four. Four seem to have almost gone all the way through the material, but three definitely did. I want to try again with um, two passes. I'm going to do two passes and no refocusing, no uh, change of the distance of the nozzle to the workpiece.
Okay, let's take a look at the results. This is the first test where I did a single pass and this is eight millimeters per, per second, seven millimeters per second, six, five, four, three, and two. The results look pr uh, relatively clean. It's not that charred up. There's, a, there's, you can see there's some black here from charring of the paper, but that's easily cleaned. But let's take a look at how deep these cuts went. The eight millimeters per minute looks like it got down to this location right here. So let's check that on the caliper. And that measures 0.31 inches or eight millimeters. So that's a little bit more than half of the distance through the half inch. Let's take a look at the next one. Doesn't look like it went that much lower actually. It's about the same. So eight millimeters per second and then seven millimeters per second. Uh, looks like it's about the same, but it, it could be something else going on here. So let's check the six millimeters per second because that's definitely longer. It looks like the six millimeters per second went down to about, I can feel it. Actually, I can feel it about right here. I'm gonna mark this, it looks, you can actually see it better. Okay, so let's take a measurement of that. Six millimeters per second is 0.428, close to 0.43 inches. And that's 10.8 or 10.9 millimeters. I wanna take a look at the previous one again. I wanna mark it with the, pen, the pencil so I can get a better, it does seem to look like it goes a little bit lower, but it's really, really hard to tell. I can't really tell if this is a part of the cut or not. So, hmm, I'm not really sure what to conclude on that one. So I'm gonna, that's a question mark for the, for the seven millimeters per, per second. Let's take a look at six or the, the five millimeters per second here. And that's inconclusive as well. This one definitely went all the way through. And if I put pressure on it, let's see. Doesn't seem to want to move. I can definitely feel a ledge here. So it may have went, gone all the way through, but not completely. So I don't really know what to uh, conclude on that one either. I think the only way we're going to be able to tell is if we look at the underside. For the two millimeter, that definitely went through. I mean, that's obvious. It's all the way through. And I can feel a, for the three millimeters per second, I can definitely feel a ledge here. I'm not actually sure if there's a real confirmation of a complete burn through on the three millimeters per second. On the on the four, I can feel a little bit of indentation, but um, very little. So it de definitely did not go through on the four millimeters per, per second. And obviously on these, it didn't go through at all. So let's take a look at the the multiple passes. So this next one was two passes. And it did actually quite a bit of damage to the to the underside. I'll show you that in a moment. But the really cool thing actually is that the faster one made it all the way through. So if we take a look at the the first one, this is eight millimeters. Can't really move it. I can move these. I can't really move this one. And there really isn't, I don't feel anything on the bottom. So I don't think the eight millimeters per minute or per second actually went all the way through. Let's see if we can get a better idea of how far it did go down. I can't really feel anything here, but it's I start to feel a little bit of a ledge here. Yeah, there's nothing here, and I start to feel it right here. Let's see if I can get a closer view of that. Okay, so that looks like it's gonna be pretty close to, I would say that's about 0.4 inches, or 10.36 millimeters. So the seven millimeters per second definitely went all the way through. Now remember that the the focal point is actually around here. So whether that burn gets all the way through for the focal point to get there is still a mystery because the unfocused beam is actually still right here on the top and it still has to have that time to get all the way down through the material to get to that focused point. So if the focus is over here, it might be able to get through, it might be able to get through um, a little bit quicker. So that's going to be the next test. But I think seven millimeters at the with the nozzle very, very close 
almost touching the surface is actually two passes for seven millimeters is actually good and it's clean it doesn't burn it too much and that's what i want to show you now is looking at the underside of these these are really really poor i mean if you look at this one you can actually see a kerf because of so much burning going through at two millimeters per second this is just way too slow it will burn a lot of material out of the the spot that it's that it's cutting so two millimeters is way 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 too slow too slow so is three four and five you can see there's darkness here and i'm going to show you the damage that it created on the underside okay here is the damage to the underside of the of the plexiglass let me see if i can remove this yeah so you can see it a little bit better here it's pretty evident that the underside got quite burned the plexiglass melted in this area there was just it was just going way too slow and i'm pretty confident that this is this all this burn was was probably from the two millimeter and the three millimeter passes and it's pretty evident that the eight millimeter and the seven millimeter actually you can't even see the eight millimeter this is right here so the seven millimeter and the six millimeter are fine they're they're good cuts and maybe even the five millimeter would have been good if the burning didn't happen probably from one of these other ones so it's i think that to conclude the for the two inch focal length i think that the the seven millimeter and the six millimeter at two passes works well i've given you a tiny bit of knowledge because i'm doing this for peanuts you can show your support by clicking the like button. Go ahead. You can do it. Click it. Go ahead. And also by subscribing and clicking on the notifications. Oh, look, I've made it to 1.1 million. Oh, no, that's not me. Oh, yeah. And go to my channel where you can find all of the playlists.